Hi, lovely people. I am in my rustic kitchen, and I'm gonna show you how to make fantastic a simple pizza using Parmigiano Reggiano. I'm gonna do pizza margarita. Everybody loves pizza margarita. I got my wood fire oven, but I'm gonna show you how to use oven inside your house with the right temperature. I'm gonna go step by step, and then you will love it. First of all, make sure you use very good strong flour. Inside here is about a kilograms of flour, which I will put 10 grams of salt inside, and then you stir them around, and you put 50 grams, one five of dry yeast. Look at that, look at the way it goes in. If you don't have a dry yeast, and you have a excess fresh yeast, use it. But with a fresh yeast, I believe you have to use about 10 grams, that should be enough. Then it mix again. A little bit warm water, because it's so simple, it's just mixing up a little bit. You can see that, the way I do all the inside. <gasps> Come on, put them on everything. And then keep, mix it. Oh yes, oh yes, this is the way to do it. When your hands start to get sticky, just clean the little bits of a flour. It will come off. See, they're much cleaner, and now you can mix it. Everybody can do that. Let the children do that. Children love to do all this. I just started to roll it out. Oh, yes. Use a little bit more flour. Again, roll it. You can see I really stretch it. Look at that. I stretch because I wanted the mixing. I wanted that dry yeast just traveling all over. I wanted the gluten. They're going to get together. They're going to stay together. You see, it is done. You get this one. You put them inside the bowl to rest for about roughly couple hours, and then what's happened inside here, let me tell you, it starts to grow because the yeast feeding on it, and while they're feeding, <gasps> it gets like, like a balloon. Let me show you. I made one early on, and this is what you get. Look, who proved? We grab it, look at that. Just move a little bit of flour, grab it, one like that, two, three, and four. Let me clean my hands. Just your hands, it's always clean it. You make two little panets like I'm doing, like this one. You can see how nice and simple it is, and how well playable they are. You can actually stretch it, and when you stretch it, it can actually stay. And then the pizza is gonna be lovely and crispy underneath and lovely bubbly on top. You see, but also, you can see, I'm trying to make everything almost the same. See, they look small, but they're not, because they're gonna prove again, another half hour. As it goes, again. Oh my, my, Ugh. come on, little baby. Perfect. Right, you roll it all out, and when you roll it all out, put them inside a trace, which I have a trace here. I just put it one, two, three, four, all inside here, and this let the rest for about at least a couple hours. So let me show you. This is what you get. All nice and relaxed. It's inside here, six because I've done two extra ones, just in case I use a little bit more flour. So, how have we done that? I have a little table to work. Just flour on the table. Just a little bit flour in the middle. Go my spatula. <sighs> Beautiful. Look at that, the way it's relaxing. So good. So, let's take the gravity. This is what you want to do. Stretch them a little bit. They're so easy. I love it. Children can do that. Banging on it and stretch it. You can see this is what I'm talking about. Relaxing. Stretch it. Stretch it. You can do that. Then give them those nice, big lips. You know, some they're big, some they're small. Now it comes the best. First of all, nice drizzle of olive oil, just a little bit, yes. Then you get nice passata. Passata, it means, then you have the tomato, you know, those plum tomato, you sieve. 
This is what we call them a passata. Just put them on the meat, not too much. Don't overdo it. Spread them around. This is quite a small one. And it's done it. Ah, fantastic. Little touch of salt. And now it comes to the best. Make sure you got some lovely Parmigiano. Just start to have them a little shape. Shave, shave how much you like it. Oh, yes. Oh. Okay, nice mozzarella. Yes. Not too much because you want to put more Parmigiano on top. Just a bit of mozzarella to melt it. Okay, nice basil. Just a few leaves. Oh, the smell is unbelievable. You got what we call them a tricolore. Italian flag. Ah, plenty of basil. I love plenty of basil. But you know what? I even like a little more of a parmigiano. Ah, nice big pieces come in. Plenty, I love plenty. A little bit so much. Some virgin olive oil for me. Right, it's all done. Now, I need to transfer. Shall we try? Because you can. Yeah. So this one, which Little flower on top, just a little touch. A lip, there it goes. <laughs> oh, it's nice, and then you adjust it. You make sure it's nice and round. It's round enough? Yeah. Come with me, go. Come with me. Come with me. It won't take very long. Full of flavor, the smoke goes round at the pizza. The lovely world, which has got so much love and passion, is alive. I don't know what I'm talking about sometimes. <sighs> the pizza bubbly is nearly ready. Yeah, it only took a few minutes. Yes, well, I can't wait it. I do this in my wood fire oven, but if you do at home, just turn it right up to the last, the biggest temperature you have. And don't worry, don't have to be. 200, 250. If you have a 300, much better. Just bling them in and it goes. You will love it. Oh, yes. Look at this. Oh, my night. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, yes. So look, so look, so look. Oh, yes. Got it. Yes. Extremely hot. So well cooked. The Parmigiano Reggiano, it is incredible. Do you know what mine? I love it to stick also a little bit more fresh basil, just for me. Hot! Oh yes, look at that, Anthony. My God. Oh, look at this. Why am I whispering? Oh my God. The dough is perfect. I can test the tomato. I can test the mozzarella. I can test the basil. But what I do test it, the saltiness of the Parmigiano, which is unbelievable. It gives you the dimension you almost wanted to fly. I said, right, fly. What are you talking about? It is good. I just, it is amazing. What shall I say now? Buon appetito e arrivederci. Now, I'm going to say, why I'm cooking so good?